welcome to my video on Simons and Shepherds. Um, Simons and Shepherds was done in 1999 and it's about sustained inattentional blindness for dynamic events, which basically means people don't pay attention to unusual events that they see if they're concentrating on something else. So Simons and Shepherds is a cognitive study and it's the last cognitive study that you do in your A level psychology. And it's a contemporary study to Murray. Uh, both Murray and Simons and Shabris are about attention. Murray is about auditory attention and Simons and Shabris is about visual attention. So, some background to Simons and Shabris study. Um, we have a couple of different uh, psychological phenomena um, which relate to visual attention. The first is called focused visual attention. And this is where we have lots and lots of information that we are trying to process all at the same time, um, far more than we are able to process and attend to, and therefore we pick the most important events that are happening and pay attention to those. We tend to ignore anything else that's going on um, that we deem to be not important. Um, the other one is called change blindness. And this is when individuals do not detect large changes in the environment that they're looking at. Um, specifically, if they're concentrating on something, they will uh, not notice things going on around them um, at that time. So we perceive or remember only those objects which require focused attention. The brain is really good are ignoring everything else that it doesn't think is important. And that's the same on processing power and just to save your brain from having to do too much work. Our brains are lazy and they like to take lots of shortcuts. So we'll only pay attention to what we think is important. Um, the other uh, type of attention that we look at is called inattentional blindness. And this is when our attention is diverted and observers fail to notice an unexpected event. Uh, in Simons and Shabris' study, we will be looking at inattentional blindness um, more so than change blindness or focus attention. Fisher, in 2007, found that the harder that you're concentrating on something, the less likely you are to see an unexpected event. And Simons and Shabris wanted to test this. Um, so to do this, they did a lab experiment with independent measures and they had four IVs. You can see on the picture, the first is the transparent and the umbrella woman condition. Now you can see on the picture what this looks like. So the transparent and umbrella woman condition is where the woman is transparent and she walks into the middle of the players with an open umbrella. The transparent gorilla condition is exactly the same. She's still transparent um, and the gorilla walks into the middle of the players uh, looks at the camera and then walks away again. The third IV is the opaque umbrella woman condition, which is exactly the same as the transparent umbrella woman condition, except that she is solid and she's not see-through. And then the last IV is the opaque gorilla condition, which is exactly the same as the transparent gorilla condition, but you uh, can see the gorilla clearly. There were also four task conditions that were present in the videos. Okay, so the first was white and easy. Now the white and easy task condition was where the players are wearing white shirts and they are passing the balls, uh, the ball between them, uh, and they're just doing easy passes, just directly passing to and from each other. Uh, the white and the hard condition again, they're wearing white t-shirts. Um, but the hard condition is where they're passing the ball in aerial passes, so that's when you pass the ball over, and doing bounce passes, which is where you bounce the ball to the other players. Okay, This um, requires a little bit more concentration for participants to be watching. Uh, the other task conditions, the third one was black and easy, which is where the players were wearing black shirts and the easy passes was the same, just passing the ball between them. And the black and hard, which was again, they were wearing black shirts and the hard passes were the aerial passes and the bounce passes. This means that there are a total of 16 individual conditions. 
and it's an independent measure design so the participants only take part in one of these conditions. The DV is how many participants notice the unexpected event. In this particular study, the unexpected event is the woman walking with the Oprah umbrella into the middle of the players and walking away, and with the gorilla, it's the gorilla walking through the players. Um, now, if you've seen the uh, selective attention test on YouTube, um, which I'd highly recommend you watching um, and having a go at that, you'll see actually that sometimes we do miss an unexpected event. Um, I've done it, I've shown it to my students for, very, for many years and I always get a good 60-70% of the class who don't notice the gorilla walking into the middle of the room. Um, and they're always really surprised when I play it back to them and they go, what gorilla? And then I should play it back to them and they go, oh, that gorilla. And so it's actually really um, interesting to see um, how something's right in front of you changes and we just don't notice. So, there were four videotapes which were each 75 seconds long and this corresponds to the white or the black team and the easy and the hard condition. Uh, there's two teams of three players, um, either wearing black or white shirts and they pass the basketball around in a standardised order. So they pass it to player one, to two, to three and so on and so forth. Um, the unexpected event is then the woman or the gorilla coming into the middle of them and walking away again. The participants are told to pay attention to what the players are doing, so they're asked to count how many passes that the white or the black team are making. So the sample of participants, there's 228 participants who are almost all undergraduate students. Um, there's, they're separated into um, three types. The first group volunteered with no compensation. The second group received a large chocolate bar and the third group were paid a single fee for taking part in this experiment and a different unrelated experiment. Um, and I suppose this is to control for any effects where they feel that they need to try and please the experimenter because they're getting some kind of reward for it. Um, the participants are asked um, after they've watched the video and counted the number of passes made between the players, they're asked, whilst you were doing the counting, did you notice anything unusual? If they say no to that, then they're asked, did you notice anything other than the six players? If they say no to that, they're asked, did you see a gorilla or an umbrella woman walk across the screen? After the experiment, they're debriefed and anyone who's heard of a similar study or a similar phenomenon is asked to um, leave and the results are not included in the study. So the results of the study, 36 participants are discarded because they knew about the phenomenon of change blindness or inattention previously. So that was 14 people were taken out of the study for that. Nine people lost count of the passes and therefore their attention is diverted and they're more likely to see the umbrella or the gorilla. Um, seven people were taken out because their count pass was incomplete or inaccurate. Uh, five people's answers couldn't be interpreted and one participant was taken out because his pass count was more than three standard deviations away from the mean, which means that he got a very high or a very low pass count in comparison to everyone else. Overall, 54% of people noticed the unexpected event, which was seeing the gorilla or the umbrella woman. 46% did not notice it. More noticed it during the opaque condition, 67%, than the transparent condition, 42%. More noticed the unexpected event during the easy condition, which is 64%, than the hard condition, which was 45%. The umbrella woman was noticed more than the gorilla, and the gorilla was noticed by those watching the black team more than the white team. Um, which is interesting because you think with the white team, the black gorilla would stand out more, but it's actually when the uh, gorilla is of a similar colour to what they're paying attention to, they're more likely to notice him. Um, there was also a control condition, which is a video that you'll see on YouTube, which is entitled Selective Attention. And that's the one where the gorilla walks in between the players and beats her chest. 50% um, in this condition, 50% of them notice the gorilla. 
So, Cyphers and Chabrises came to the conclusion that we have a sustained inattentional blindness for unexpected events, which basically means we don't notice things happening that we're not paying attention to. So we don't notice unexpected events if we're paying attention to something else. Our level of inattentional blindness depends on the difficulty of the task that we're asked to do. Those participants in the hard condition were less likely to know the unexpected event than those in the easy condition. And we're more likely to notice something if it's visually similar to what we're already paying attention to, i.e. if we're looking at the black team, we're more likely to notice the gorilla who's wearing the black suit. Thank you for watching my video on Simons and Chevrys. I hope I've cleared up any questions that you had. And I wonder, did you notice the changes in the video? There were four in total. Did any of you notice? Watch closely.